First off, DNA is the base of all life on Earth, and probably anything else that exists outside of Earth. Found in the nucleus of a cell, deoxyribonucleic nucleic acid is made from four bases that pair up, adenine with thymine, cytosine with guanine. Now, there are two steps to protein synthesis, transcription and translation. RNA polymerase unwinds the double helix shape of the strand, and basically unzips it like you would on your jumper. The polymerase leaves behind or creates something called mRNA, or messenger RNA, which duplicates on a segment of a gene. But thymine is replicated into a different base, called uracil. It then leaves the DNA, which would resist. The purpose of mRNA is so that DNA can replicate itself without actually moving the DNA itself. The mRNA will leave the nucleus and its DNA strands through pores and go out into the cytoplasm. It will then carry on its journey towards the ribosome that can be found generally under rough ER. From there, tRNA, which has an amino acid, the second base of everything, as it made of duplicated DNA, on its top, and three bases, called codons. The tRNA would land onto three matching pairs with its own codons and release the amino acid. And as more and more tRNA find their matching codons, a chain of amino acids will form and so on. Once this is done, the pattern that forms the chain of amino acids would fold Once this is done, the pattern that forms the chain of amino acids would fold on itself and form a protein, sometimes joining with other smaller proteins to make a bigger one. Such as this example, amino acids. The end. And voila, now you know how protein synthesis works.